Hello, my name is Kevin and I am a senior instructor with Esri. And in this video, I'd like to introduce you to the ArcGIS Experience Builder interface. So let's get started. And we are going to begin on our Experience Builder landing page. What we need to do first is log into ArcGIS Online to access the builder. So I'm going to choose sign in. And the first thing we'll see is our experience gallery. In order for us to begin our process, we need to create new. So let's go up and select create new. Templates serve as a launch point for our design ideas. They can allow us to replicate other configurable apps like Web App Builder Classic or dashboards. Let's click the Web App Builder Classic category. And from here, we're going to choose the launch pad template as our launching point. Now, we're going to see our Experience Builder interface. The interface is broken up into different pieces. On the left, we have our sidebar. We also have our left panel. In the middle, we have our canvas. And on the right, we have our configuration panel. Up top, we have what is known as our builder toolbar. And the first thing I want us to do is unlock our layout. Now that we've done that, let's take a look at our sidebar. Our sidebar allows us to access our different panels. So within the sidebar, we have the insert widget panel. We have our page panel, our data panel, our utility service panel, our theme panel, and finally our settings panel. Let's come back up to our page panel. The page panel serves as a sort of table of contents for our experience. The first part of our page panel we will access is the page itself. Experience Builder allows you to create an application with multiple pages. And within your experience, you can access these pages by selecting them. You'll see that there is also a lower portion of our page panel. This is the outline that corresponds to the active page. When you select a page in the page panel, it will change the canvas to reflect the widgets within that activated page. Now that we've selected our original page, let's come down and look at the lower portion. When I select or hit the drop down for what is considered my map widget, you'll see another list or group of widgets inside of my outline. When I select one of the widgets in my page panel, you'll see that that widget is also selected on the canvas. Once we have our widget selected, you'll see that it activates a configuration panel on the right, allowing us to modify and configure our different widgets. We also have something called a widget toolbar. So with my text widget selected in my canvas, I can choose to modify the placement or arrangement of this individual widget. Remember, whatever widget you have selected, either on your canvas or in your page panel, that is the widget that will be reflected in your configuration panel for configuration. Finally, let's go up top and take a look at our builder toolbar. Up here, we have our lock layout, which we've already discussed. We have our live view, which allows us to get a live view while staying in the builder. We also have the ability to choose which screen device we want to edit for. Experience Builder allows you to scale your application across multiple devices and multiple resolutions. We have a back button or an undo and a redo button. We have a save button and then we have a preview button. The preview button allows you to visualize your application as your users would see it. Finally, these little three ellipses right here allow you to save your experience, delete it, 
create a new, or generate a template. Finally, let's name our experience, and we're going to name this Getting Started. Once we name our experience, we're going to save, and then let's navigate back to our page. And that is going to wrap up our video on getting started with ArcGIS Experience Builder. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed your experience.